In this video, we'll be looking at two new things that are added to Laravel version 9.11.0. So let's get started. The first thing that has been added is this join method on the ARR helper class. This join method was available previously on the collection class only, but now it is also available in this array helper class. Let me show you what it does. Let's say we have an array over here like this, Tailwind, Alpine, Laravel and Livewire. Now, let me just DD this on this home controller, which means that whenever we visit this home, this page, then it will DD over here. So here, if I just do ARR and this is imported over here like this, ARR join, the first parameter is the array and the second parameter is by what we want to join these. Let's say we want to join these using comma. So if I just do it and refresh the page, then every one of these is joined by comma. It is just like the implode, but there's one extra feature over here. Let's say we want to replace this last comma with and. We can do that by using the third parameter over here. We need to have this space in front of and and also behind this and so that it will be available over here. Let me refresh over here. Then we can see and over here like this. The second thing that has been added is this has and missing methods on the validated input. Before these methods were available on the request class, but now it is also available on the validated input. So let's have a look. Let me comment this. And if I go here and refresh the page, then I'll see this form. Whenever we submit that form, it will take us to this one, okay? Save user controller. And here we have this invocable controller. And if I just show you over here this request, we have only name and email that are validated over here. And I think you already know that we have this request sole method by which we can only get those data that are being validated over here. So let me just show you like this over here. So if I just do here request all, then I'll get everything that is passed from here, which can be name, email, password or select role. And if I just do here request and soul, sorry, it's not soul, it's safe. And if I just do here two array like this, then there will be difference. Here we'll only get these two fields, okay? So if I just come here and let's say hello and hello world at gmail.com. And if I just click on save, then we'll see on the first one, all these name, email, password, and role ID. And on the second, we'll only get those things that were validated using the request class. And before we had this has and missing methods on the request. So like this, so let's say request has, and let's say password like this. And we have this password key on this array. So it will return true, but let us also try the same thing on this request safe and let's say has password like this to so come here and refresh and hit on continue then we'll see that it will return true and it will return false because the password key is not present over here since it is the validated data similarly we also have this missing and if I come here and refresh over here, then it will be just opposite because password is not missing over here. So it will return false and it will return true because password is missing over here. 